Tuesday, we save Wisconsin on November the 6th. Wisconsin saves America. You can just feel it. Look, the question is basically this. Does the government work for us, we the people, or do we work for the government? You know, one of the core principles that was the founding of this nation, that our founders created, that our veterans fought for, is that we have government by consent of the governed. This recall, it doesn't make any sense. You know what's going to happen if the recall is successful? They'll just keep doing it. Anytime a person of conviction gets elected and does what he says he will do in office, he'll get recalled. We're not going to let that happen here in Wisconsin. Our public employees are good people who do good and important work for all of us. But they do work for us, the voters. And it's not too much to ask that they pay something for their pension and health care benefits just like everybody else does in society. It's not too much to ask that government lives within its means. The nucleus of our society, of our economy, it's not government, it's us, it's we the people, it's the individual, it's the family, it's those of us who live in Racine, in Janesville, all across this state. And you know what? You turn on the TV lately, you think they're making arguments against these reforms? No! They're just trying to destroy Scott Walker and Van Wangard. That's all that's happening here. Divide, distort, destroy, distract. Guess what? These reforms are working! When half of our state budget comes from labor costs and 60 to 85 percent of local government come from the same, you can't ignore that. These reforms have saved a billion dollars in a year alone. Property taxes are down for the first time in 12 years. Our schools are being reformed. Kids in the inner city have a chance at a better school because of these reforms. You wouldn't know that by turning on the TV. They're not even offering another solution. They're not even offering another idea. They're not even saying how they would fix our state problems a different way. They're just trying to destroy the reformers that we elected in government through the legitimate election in 2010. Friends, the whole country is watching us. This is an election that will send shockwaves throughout America. a momentum maker or a momentum breaker. The stakes are as high as they ever could be. Because you know why? Courage is on the ballot Tuesday. What leader, what state senator, what state assembly person, what governor will ever take on these kinds of reforms if this is what happens to you? The whole country is watching. Will we get government to live within its means? Do we believe in those founding principles? Liberty, freedom, free enterprise, government by consent of the governed, the stuff that makes America great. <laughs> That's what's on the ballot on Tuesday. You have to call everybody you know and talk to them about this election. You have to get everybody you know to turn out and vote. And Van Wangard not only needs our support, Van Wangard deserves our support. This is a man who served us.
force in so many ways. An officer of the peace, a member of a public employee union, a man who did what he said he would do in office. Go figure. And Scott Walker. They're just trying to destroy a guy who simply is bringing common sense back to our government. Who simply is saying, enough is enough. We, the people, run our government, not the other way around. Wisconsinites, this is it. This is our moment. This is a big deal. The country is watching. We have a choice of two futures in front of us. And we here in Wisconsin will make that decision of what we want our state and, yes, our nation to look like for ourselves and our children. Will we rekindle that American idea and reclaim it? Or will we go the way of big government, of European? Let's prove it. We can do this. It's ours for the taking. It's up to us. Our government is within our control. Everybody, pray hard, work hard, call everybody you know, and on Wednesday morning, let's wake up and say, we took our state back, then on to November the 6th to take our nation back. Thank you, everybody. Come on.